The 40,000 ton bulk coal carrier got into trouble about 9 o'clock this morning. The Pasha Balka had been trying to head out into mountainous seas but ran aground on a popular swimming beach. Whether it was dragged or whether it broke, it ended up in here this morning. You know, these things aren't like starting a car, you can't just turn a key. Battered by cyclonic winds and huge waves, conditions were too hazardous to pull a Panama registered ship off the beach. Rather than being broken up onto rocks and washed out in that ocean, uh, they've set the jump and so it's really made the urgency for the uh, evacuation of the ship. In appalling conditions, the rescue helicopter winched the 22 Filipino crew off the stricken carrier one by one. Worst conditions I've ever been in, like, yeah, even though it was so close to shore, but yeah, I've, I've never experienced anything like that. The sailors were medically assessed before being interviewed by immigration officials. Even their rescuers were shaken by the ordeal. Every time I got put back on the deck, I got, I got booted. Every time the cable come down, I got uh, you know, the, the static electricity off the cable, just you know, it gave me a boot every time. The bottom of the carrier has minor damage. It's carrying hundreds of tonnes of fuel and oil, and there are concerns of an environmental disaster if it breaks up. We need to assess whether there's any problems anticipated with the fuel that the ship still has on it. As the drama unfolded, two other ships got into trouble. The Sea Confidence and the Betis sent out distress calls. But disaster was averted and tonight they're reported to be anchored safely offshore. The state government has criticised the captains of those ships for ignoring last night's warnings to head out to sea. This situation behind us is definitely something that is not acceptable. More wild weather is expected tonight. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.